It's a new era for Major League Soccer. New Apple TV deal, new kickoff teams, and a new team down in St. Louis. So joining us today is the bilingual host and play-by-play -play announcer for MLS on Apple TV, Stefano Fusaro. Stefano, I've never seen this much hype and promotion going into the MLS ahead of a season. So it feels like it's a new day for the league. How has this Apple TV deal reshaped MLS? Yeah, it's really incredible. I think that for the first time ever, uh, you have fans who are going to be able to find all of the content, all of the games, and, and, and anything that you want kind of uh, as far as Major League Soccer is concerned, all in one place. For years, you've had to go to different networks, different times, different days, uh, and everything is going to be a lot more truncated. Games are going to be on Saturdays, mo the majority of them. You'll have some games on Wednesdays, very few games on Sundays. Uh, but for the most part, all the games will be at Saturday nights, 7.30 p.m. in their local market. And I think that's going to be just huge for, for Major League Soccer fans. The diehard fans have been wanting this, right, for so long, just kind of having everything in one place. And, and now there's even a more bigger opportunity to reach new fans. Uh, you know, if you got Apple TV, you can already watch five games for free every single week, and week one is totally free. Uh, so it's a good way to just start kind of testing out the product if you're not really sure, and then kind of hopefully uh, uh, move our way and come to MLS season pass to kind of dive in uh, to the local local soccer league here in our country. I heard five free games, free 99. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'm definitely going to be watching. But uh, for the casual fans, it's opening day tomorrow. So which game are you most forward, uh, looking forward to watching most, and which game should they keep an eye on? Uh, well, for sure. I mean, look, the flagship game is obviously uh, El Trafico. It's L.A. against L.A. Every time these two teams meet, uh, it's it's there's fireworks. There's been a 4-3 game, a 3-2 game, a 3-3 game. Uh, there's always a lot of star power. Unfortunately, uh, that man right there, Javier Hernandez, isn't going to play. He's injured, but there's still so much firepower uh, on that game. I think that's definitely the one you got to look for. Orlando against New York City. Mm. I think two teams really battling for the top of the East, uh, and they're going to be. A, they've had a couple of a couple of issues in the last couple of years uh, where they've gotten into some scrums on the field. So you should watch out for that one. And then, in my opinion, the best team in the league, Philadelphia, uh, the Union, are going to be at home taking on Columbus Crew, another team. Uh, a lot of history, and it's kind of up and coming in the Eastern Conference. Well, luckily, we get five free games, so we can check all three of them out. See what I did there? Ding. Uh, so uh, I'm going to put you on the spot right here, man. Who do you see lifting the cup up at the end of the season? Man, it's so tough, and now you got – you know, and it's a good thing, right? You got MLS. A lot of the teams playing in multiple competitions are not only playing in Major League Soccer, but you got some of the top teams playing in CONCACAF Champions League. Uh, you got them. Uh, you got, there's also a, a brand new tournament this year uh, where in the middle of the season, MLS stops and we get the League's Cup. The top teams, in, uh, all of the teams in MLS, all of the teams in Liga MX will be playing in that tournament. So, so there's going to be so much going on uh, that, you know, I expect Philadelphia to win MLS Cup. That is my pick. I think they are the best team top to bottom. They got to the final last year and lost against LAFC. Um but anything they could win a tournament earlier with CONCACAF Champions League or with Leagues Cup and kind of not have enough energy to kind of finish out the year for MLS Cup. So it's kind of up in the air. That's what makes it so exciting. Any team can win, and especially in the new playoff format. I mean, you're going to have a lot of teams really trying to make that run at the right time of year to try to lift that MLS Cup. Well, as a former New York Giant and a, and a wannabe New Yorker, I ain't rooting Philly nothing. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I Union. <get> you on <laughs> that. <laughs> but I want to put you on the spot one more time, man, because when I play FIFA, I switched the broadcast over to the Spanish uh, commentary. Got to put you on the spot. Can you give us a, a bilingual play-by-play -play of a goal? Just give us, give us some sort of situation. Got to. Uh, you can definitely see a lot of it on my Instagram, but because um, I have posted a lot of stuff there. I've, you know, I've been calling the Red Bulls games okay. here in the New York market for the last two seasons and now obviously be calling a lot of other games. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you a quick... Uh, uh, Lewis Morgan, the pega desde afuera. Stefano, thanks for joining us, man. Good luck this weekend. <laughs> I appreciate it.